collective welcome to alexander tarot this is going to be a reading to see what messages the divine currently has for you in love do not be discouraged that this is a collective because if this is your message the, the messages will be fluid okay if this is your story it will flow don't force it never force a reading again if it's for you the messages will flow um so give it a shot guys okay Time is fluid as well. Anytime that you press play, it's a time for you to receive this message. Also, cross watchers are welcome here in this collective reading as well. All right? So, collective. <laughs> I did a reading, a pre-shuffle reading for you guys. And what I feel like the overall energy is of detachment. I feel like between you and your person, that there is a, someone's detached from the connection. And it's like... They're trying to get to the bottom of something. They're trying to, they want the truth about something um, in order to get things moving again. They need the truth about something. Also, I got the energy that in order for this to grow or whatever connection that you're in at this time or you're trying to be in, you're going to have to start moving. There's, you or your person is going to require movement. Things have to start flowing in order to grow. And it's requiring that you or your person have faith. Okay, because I feel like someone is trying to have faith and take a leap of faith, but it's being crowned by the energy of them being in their head trying to make a decision about the connection. Okay, so let's see what this is about for the collective. Show me the messages. What do they need to see? It's like, what is it that someone is seeking the truth about in order to get things moving again? Like, what do they need to know? What's keeping somebody in the resistance energy? Show me the messages for the collective, please. Hmm. Tell me, I just said somebody needs to have faith, but they're in their head. I'm getting like the two of swords energy, that kind of energy, like trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, I'm getting somebody here who's super, super stubborn. It's like they're refusing to compromise, but this is being this nine of wands reverse is being crowned by the fool. There's a need to take a, le a leap of faith. It's like someone wants to, but they're refusing to. This is going to make you guys stronger. I got the strength card here. Like whatever challenge that you or your person has right now, they're going to overcome that. But they're going to have to be willing to take a leap of faith. Ace of Pentacles reverse is here. There was some sort of financial issue for some of you. Um, at the bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune reversed. It was like something on the outside, some external force, something connected to money for some of you is what's keeping things um, in setback energy, delays, disruption, this detachment, something with money for some of you. Let's, let's go on more. You could be connecting with a Leo, an Aquarius, Capricorn energy. Look at that. <laughs> I said that, look, this didn't fall out by accident. That's a wish fulfillment. And that fell right on, that landed right on the strength card. It's like you can overcome whatever it is, you or your person, and there's a wish fulfillment here. But did I not say this? That I picked up two of swords energy? Someone is in their head. They're indecisive about moving forward. There's like, they're sitting on the fence. They're at a crossroad. This is a very, very painful and stressful decision. I'm feeling more stress over pain. But we shall see. Okay, show me why the Ten of Pentacles is here. Okay. I feel like there's someone here who's very financially stable. Another person isn't. And I feel like they gave and gave and gave at the expense of their own security with the Queen of Pentacles reverse. They neglected some of their own financial responsibilities for this person. I feel like that's you, Collective. You can be connected with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. We got a lot of Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Yeah, you feel burdened by this. There's some sort of financial decision that you made. And someone here, like, they don't have as much money as you. They have poor financial control. There were, or there was some sort of financial opportunity, some sort of loss. But it affected the both of you. It, it, and you're like... You're, you're used to, you know, being stable. You're very stable. And this affected the both of you. And you had to 
take over certain responsibilities because your person was lacking. You stepped in and you helped them and you did it to the point where you wasn't even taking care of your own things. I'm not saying financially, but there were things that you neglected to help this person. There's going to be a reunion with this person, though. You could be connecting with the Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius energy here, Capricorn. Yeah, there's going to be a new cycle. There's still going to be fulfillment here. You just have to believe that you can manifest it. Magician, okay? There's Gemini energy, Capricorn. Show me the breakdown. Show me more of this connection for the collective. Yeah, you two are definitely going to come back together. I feel like between the two of you, there's so many memories. You might have been together for a long time. I'm getting childhood memories for some of you that you knew each other since you were kids. Or you grew up in the same neighborhood or might have went to the same school. That kind of thing. There's, there's somebody thinking a lot about the other person, looking at photos and messages. and I feel like your family knows their family. Or you guys, some of you have family. Page of Wands, there's going to be some sort of good news. Spirit said, remain enthusiastic because the, the tower moment happened. The disaster happened. Tower reverse, Aries energy. And now it's just like there's a need to change to get out of this cycle. But with the tower in reverse, someone here is resisting the change that's necessary to, to get past this point, to go into a new cycle in this connection. Maybe in this connection. Let's find out. Okay. But it's like you're trying to avoid something bad happening. But if you stay in this energy, you're you're still it's it's not good. It's, nothing good is gonna come out of it. That's still something bad happening. That's why there's a need to take a leap of faith for someone here. But it's like someone wants to get to the they want some sort of confirmation or they want something that's guaranteed in order for them to move forward. Page of Cups. This is someone here who's a bit emotionally immature, but they want to, they're interested in learning about the issues that they have emotionally. This person wants um, to communicate with you. The Page of Cups is about communication and apologies. King of, yeah, King of Swords reverse. This is someone who's very selfish. They were thought about themselves. They knew what they were doing, but they want to take action. Okay, with the chariot here, this person wants to overcome the obstacles in this connection and they want you guys to be victorious. Show me this person's feelings. What is this person's feelings for the collective? This person feels like you have options, okay, in love with the seven of cups here. They feel like that there's a lot of people checking for you and they don't want to lose you. Okay, because I'm getting the Seven of Wands. They feel like you're very defensive, that you're very guarded from them because you have other options. And with this Knight of Pentacles, it's like this person wants to be the person that you count on. They don't want you to be with anybody else. They want to be somebody that you can rely on, that you can depend on, that you can trust. And they want to... Um, they want to come towards you. They want to work on it. It's going to take patience and it's going to be slow because the Knight of Pentacles is slow moving. But this person wants this to work and they know it's going to take a lot of work after, you know, what they've been through with you. But they're willing, they want to do it. They want you. I got the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck again. This person wants to apologize. You may even receive a gift or a sweet message from this person. Yeah, the Seven of Swords reverse. This person wants to come in. They want to apologize. They want to, you know, their conscience is kicking in about how they handle things with you. And um, they want to bring things back into balance, temperance. You can be connected with the Sagittarius. Oh my goodness, this cards are just falling out like this. It's so weird. Show me more for this person's feelings. This is someone that doesn't want to move on without you. Okay, and I feel like with their ego, they made it seem as if they were walking away because they're prideful. This person is super prideful, but they don't want to move on. They're afraid of losing you. But with the lovers reverse, they also know that there's a lot of conflict here. They know that they've lacked accountability when it comes to their actions, and they know that you don't trust them. And that's what, they just want to come in and clear the clear the air. Ace of Cups reverse. Yeah, this person, like, I'm feeling like this person is giving you the energy of somebody being very aloof right now. And it's because they're repressing their emotions. That's it. 
you know, they may give them the, the feeling that they're not emotionally available, but they're in a lot of pain. They're sad about this. Okay. And they, they you know, they realize that they've, they've, they've miscarried this connection. This is because this person has all these deep seated issues for pentacles. They have a lot of deep east seated issues that they need to let go of. And with the Queen of Swords, Spirit is like, you. When, when it comes to this person, your thoughts need to dominate your feelings. You need to be clear about your wants and your needs with this person. Because, especially because after what this person did, whatever betrayal that, you know, you feel betrayed by this person in some way, something financially, this person wants to come in. They want to confess something. I'm going to pull on that seven of swords reverse. But again, with the seven of wands, this is someone who sees you as very defensive and, and they're very, and you're very guarded now. Like you don't want, you're, you're just trying to protect your energy from this person. You feel like, I don't even know if I could trust you, even though I still love you. Okay. Because of will of fortune reverse again, something on the outside, some sort of disruption um, show me why the Seven of Swords reverse is here. What is it they want to confess? What is it that they want to confess to the collective? This person is very quiet right now. Okay, you guys are not talking with the Hermit here. Um, Virgo Energy. This person wants to, you know, confess to you that they know they caused the conflicts and the drama between you two. They want to own up to that with the Five of Wands, okay? By the way, I did see a Seven of Swords, a Seven of Wands. Seven, seven could be significant to you. That could be the year that someone was born here. But with this Five of Wands, this person knows that they cause a lot of drama between you two, and they're, they're tired of, be, of being in conflicts with you. And with the Chariot, they want to overcome that. They want to come in and they want you guys to work things out. That is the confession. Show me more for what they need to confess. They're completely stressed out. They want to let you know how like stressed they're feeling and that they're trying to, you know, focus on planning for the future with the Empress Reverse. They want to confess to you that they recognize that there's a lack of growth here because of their negligence of the relationship, their negligence of you, how they made you feel insecure. Death reverse, how they keep repeating the same nonsense with you, the same cycle, and it's just the negative behavior and how they've been resisting change. And they know that they're the reason why you guys can't move forward because of their nonsense. Every time you guys are doing good, this person creates another situation where you you guys end up taking a step back, death reverse, Scorpio energy, tower reverse. Yeah, this person is like they wanna they wanna they wanna recover from this. They wanna recover from the disasters that they caused. You could be connecting with the cancer and Aries energies here as well. So show me while wow, the moon reverse came out, Pisces energy. Yeah, this person they, they want to tell you how they recognize that, again, their behavior is self-deceptive. They want to come with, to you with honesty because they feel burdened by it, by their feelings right now. They want to release that fear and that, that anxiety that they're feeling. And there's no mistake that I got the Wheel of Fortune reversed for like the third time. That they allow shit that had nothing to do with you to interfere with this connection. Show me what this interference was for the collective. Show me more, because I did see something with money, but I'm trying to see if there's more here to the story. Show me more. Show me more. I see what's happening here now. Okay. <laughs> this person, I feel like this person abandoned this connection, Eight of, eight of Cups. They walked away towards an opportunity that they thought that was going to be enterprising, King of Pentacles. They thought that there was it was profitable. Okay. They were trying to they there was an opportunity for them to better themselves financially. But what it turned out to be was a fucking disaster. The tower, Aries energy. It was a bad decision. And you meanwhile with the with the Knight of Wands reverse. 
It's like this person is someone who promised a lot but didn't deliver. They went after something and they abandoned this connection to go after this security, this financial security they thought they was going to receive. And it was a disaster. And I feel like with the Knight of Wands reverse, you kind of felt like this was a reckless decision. You felt like your person was being very arrogant and you feel like somebody promised this person a lot and didn't deliver. It could have been your person. It could have been somebody else because I got the Wheel of Fortune three times. So somebody on the outside might have promised your person an opportunity and it was a disaster. But now your, your person sees it for what it is, 10 of wands reverse, and they want to let go of everything that burdened them. They feel defeated, five of swords. It was a defeating situation, okay? They walked away for nothing, okay? It wasn't worth it. And now you're, the, you're, the, you're secure and you wanted to know. And that's why I feel like you're at this reading collective because you want to get to the bottom of what it was that happened. That's what happened. Somebody here promised your person an opportunity that sounded good, but this person talked a lot. They didn't deliver. They didn't deliver. Nothing came out of that. It was a loss. It was a liability. It wasn't a profit. Your, your person thought it was a profit, but it was a liability. And now it's like, you didn't think it was right, but I feel like some of you helped them, helped your person, even though it was against your better judgment and it turned out to be a shit show. So, but you wanted to get to the bottom of what happened. Like you always felt like there was something that your person wasn't telling you completely. And that's why I got the seven of swords reverse a little while ago. Your person wants to, you know, they want to come in and clear their conscience about what happened. So what is it that, and I got the seven of, I got the seven again, seven of pentacles, seven, seven, seven could be significant to you. This person wants to like put in the hard work. They want to work hard now. They want to build with you, but it's going to require a lot of patience and hard work. What is it that the collector's person had them thinking happened? I want to know what you thought happened because now this person wants to tell you that whatever financial thing they left you for, anytime the cards go sideways like this, guys, I do not read it. I only read uprights and reversals, okay? But there's still an opportunity for you guys to be happy. Again, don't forget that I got that nine of cups early on. What is it that the collector's person told them happened? Damn, it keeps coming out sideways. Oh, I get it. Show me more. What is it that the collector's person told them happened? Now that they want to confess something. Okay, they were super scared. They, they, your person told you with the justice that there was some sort of like settlement. Some sort of something with something legal happened in their favor. And they was telling you that, you know, they had to leave to get whatever, how do I say? Whatever contract or settlement, they let you believe that some things that had to do with a court case or something, that they they were coming into money. And there was an opportunity for them to, to get this money in the settlement, but they had to go towards something. That's what they told you. But they was, they was lying. The magician reversed. They were playing mind games. They were manipulating with you. And, you know, it's because they were paralyzed by fear. They were afraid to tell you the truth. They were super afraid to tell you what was really going on. And they, they, they couldn't stay around you because they didn't want to stay around you and continue to lie with the hermit reverse. So they, they felt like you could see right through that. So they isolated themselves. <laughs> they withdrew from the connection to try to figure this out. But now they want to come back and tell you that it was a bad investment. It, was, it had nothing to do with any you know, a settlement in their favor or something of that sort. Okay, this is going to be different for everyone, but this is like an almost personal reading. You could be connecting with a Libra or a Gemini. Okay, and I got Virgo energy here. Yeah, your person with the judgment reverse, there was a lack of self-awareness. They wasn't willing to see their ways. They just tried to to play around with you and, and give you the illusion that something else happened. 
they made it look like even with the seven of pentacles i feel like this is here because your person made it look like they were working on really hard on something and it, and it went in their favor financially something that they were building with they were committed to working on and their rewards was the money but that wasn't the case <laughs> but now they want to come back and tell you that they made a poor investment with someone that they didn't trust oh man mm. this is a lot spirit please show me <laughs> the collector's feelings for this person let's see what you know about this situation because you kind of knew this person was lying and that's why there's a detachment from you as well the detachment is your person but it's really you trying to get to the bottom of this like you're like no i need to figure this out but and it's like somebody needs to take a leap of faith and they're in their head and that's your person because they're afraid you're going to reject them show me but at the same time you are rejecting them you are guarded i got the seven of wands like two or three times <laughs> show me the messages here show me the collector's feelings for that person you want this to work though i mean you know there's a lot of sadness here and you feel like your person's expectations were very unrealistic anyway it's almost like you knew the sun reverse is like you know the sun up bright is success you kind of knew this was gonna fail this person had a big ego problem and you just feel like their expectations were unrealistic so whatever they told you you never really believed in it you felt like it was it was bullshitting you but with the temperaments and the three of pentacles it's like you just you feel like this is your soulmate okay Sagittarius energy and you want to come together and build you want to build with this person you want this person to say you know we should be doing this together we should be building together and you know we need to like take our time and put in that work because the temperament is also about being patient but doing things in moderation and persevering and with the devil reverse there's a need you know you feel like that somebody here feels at the end of their rope and also it's like wanting to like get out of that toxic energy to release something that's toxic i feel like it's more of a mindset it's more of a mindset and you feel like your person needs to release that. That's what you feel like. You're like, this person, my person is always promising me shit, but then it turns out to be some bullshit. And then they suffer from that because they didn't listen to me in the first place. Look at that. That is insane. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Not seeing something through a bad business. You knew it. You kind of know that this person has a track record of doing things like that. I got the Ace of Pentacles reverse again. Yeah, lost opportunities, lack of money and financial control. All right, so again, I'm getting strong Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm even getting Leo energy here. It's just like, you know, you're like, this person does this all the time. And you're like, but with this one, you like, I know this person was bullshitting me. I need to get to the bottom of this. So, but this time you removed yourself. And like, we're not going to move forward until I can trust you. Like, so that's the energy that I got in a pre-shuffle. Wow. So show me the challenges for the collective in regards to this person. Ace of Cups. That's a new beginning. That's a new emotional beginning. Show me the challenges for the collective. Three of them came out. I usually go with two. This came out again. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Again, someone who has very poor financial control. It's like you want a new beginning with this person. You love this person, but this person is unstable. They're reckless financially. There's been shady investments. This is about money. So your challenge is how can I have this new beginning with this person who keeps making poor financial decisions because you're the complete opposite. You have your shit together. You want this person collected, but you don't need this person. Look at this again. I mean, I'm telling you, it's been like four times that I pulled this card. Wheel of Fortune reverse. You feel like your person allows influences on the outside of your relationships to cause delays, disruption, and setbacks in your connection. And it's just like bad karma. Like they keep making these bad decisions and they, you guys can't close out this cycle. Also with the Wheel of Fortune Reverse, I also feel like the, you know that this relationship's not over. That's what the challenge is. Can we have the, the, the love, the, the continue to have this emotional new beginning with someone who's unstable, who makes bad financial decisions? Let's see. Let's show me advice. Oh my God. I got it again. Nine of Pentacles reverse. 
somebody who, this is definitely if this is your reading collective is this is this is about money this is about someone who's 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 unstable they lack independence and stability this is someone again who makes reckless decisions financially and i'm getting shady investments and i can't you know i can't stop seeing it because it keeps coming up all right show me more same pattern over and over again the hangman reverse i asked what if, for advice here but a lot of times when i ask for advice spirit will show me the situation again before they give me the advice with the two of wands reverse it's just like there's still this stagnancy, this stuck energy. Um, I feel like your person is just like, I feel like this is your energy. You're afraid that like, can we change? Because as much as I keep telling, so I, you talk to your person over and over again about this, over and over about this situation that you're in with this person now. And it, it keeps showing up again, over and over again. Hangman reverse. Like your person is this, these impulsive decisions that they make financially it's just like it's a it's a consistent negative pattern it just keeps happening and then you feel like you got to detach from this person because they are financially unstable and you're like i don't know what i should do with this person because i feel like i'm going to talk to them and they're going to do this shit again and all i want is balance temperaments sagittarius you want to you want someone that you can compromise with. You want peace. Show me advice, please, with a collective. You like this all this unnecessary drama because this person and their ego is just crazy. It's crazy to me. Show me advice. What advice do we have? You could be connecting with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Show me more. Your person's instability, like the, their reckless behavior comes from their upbringing, the Ten of Cups reverse. They lack stability and security in their upbringing. A lot of them, you know, a lot of you guys, your person came from a dysfunctional family, dysfunctional home, unhappy family. They've watched different, you know, relatives. Um, how do I say this? Some of them weren't even raised by their own parents. And they've been in and out of different relatives' house, moving house to house. They didn't have stability moving up. They don't know stability. And that's not an excuse. That's an explanation. So this tends to be somebody with the King of Cups reverse that looks out for themselves. Some of you, your person even has addictions. It could be alcohol, drugs, porn, anything. But it's like they're always getting... <laughs> They're always getting like caught up in something, some sort of scheme with somebody that's giving them bad advice, somebody who's not who they say they are. With the King of Cups reverse, this is the, I feel like your person's always coming across someone that looks out for themselves, somebody that's not on the up and up. And then with the Four of Cups reverse, your person seizes the opportunity, think it's going to be beneficial, but it's not. Show me the messages, advice, please, for the collective. What advice do you have for the collective in regards to this person? Oh, yeah, six, so many more, please. I got the Wheel of Fortune reverse again, y'all. This person is very selfish. They have a lot of money problems. Six of Pentacles reverse. They take, they're taking you for granted. This is the same negative detached energy. This is not going to be easy to fix. It's possible. I know this person loves you, but I don't see a real change in how they're doing things because I got the judgment reversed. Okay, this is someone there's, that's um, that's not self-aware. There, there's a lesson they're not willing to learn. There's a, this is a karmic lesson. Meanwhile, this person wants to come in, Knight of Cups. They want to be your mutual partner. Like they want to, they want to show you mutual respect. They want to be your ideal person but it's just like how could that happen if you're selfish how could that happen if you're not willing to learn a lesson and you're, you're causing you're making these decisions on the outside of our relationship you guys need to recover your person needs to recover 10 of, of, of swords reverse 
They need to learn. They need to learn from the past hardships that you guys been through in order to have this wish fulfillment. This is not going to happen. This is going to be hard. This person loves you. They want to come in with this love offer. They're going to take action. But it's just like, you have to use your discernment. There's love here. So I'm not telling you to walk away from this person. But damn, y'all need like some sort of like financial. If the car came out sideways, I do not read them. Some financial advisor or something. Because two of pentacles reverse, things are still out of balance. But this person is definitely going to come in. They might have texted you already. They will text you. This person is like spying on you for some of you pages swords reverse. They're wondering if you moved on with somebody else. <laughs> it's like some of you, this person even accused you of moving on with somebody else. That's the insecurities. And you're like, what the hell are you talking about? But it's like, that's the hypocrisy because they'll be the first one to do something like that. But look, they'll be like, in other words, they would do something like that before you would. And they're saying, asking you, are you with someone else? But it's that's that's their own insecurities. Two of Cups here, though. There is a lot of love here. Make no mistake, this person loves you. So if you're going to decide, decide to stay with this person and take a leap of faith and get out of the stuck energy because you need to make a decision about this, the Queen of Swords is here. You have to be clear about your wants and needs with this person. That is the advice that we are getting to after pulling all these cards. Yes, they love you. Yes, you love them. But love is not enough. You need to be clear about your wants and needs. And you need to stand on that. Your thoughts have to dominate your feelings when this conversation comes in. Do not be swayed because this person is coming in with this Knight of Cups energy. They're coming in slow, though. They want to come in as Knight of Pentacles as well. Someone that you can rely on. But they're going to be doting and sweet on you. And you need to just not get distracted. Don't get distracted, collective. Okay? Be clear about your wants and needs and stand on that. So this is why I got detachment. Because there's all this uncertainty. But you guys can actually get things growing again, going again if you start, if you get things moving again, but it's going to require growth. In order for you guys to have growth, you're going to need to be on the same page. You're trying to get, you're not willing to move forward until you know anyway that you can trust this person. That's why I said in the pre-shuffle, I got the energy of, of you trying to, you want answers and clarity and getting to the bottom of something. But that person is coming in. Oh my God. This is crazy. Seven of Swords reverse again. That, and I was just about to say, that person's coming in. They want to confess to you how what really happened with that financial situation because their conscience is kicking in and they want to apologize, okay? Because they see you of, as of the deserving, loving person that you are, the Queen of Cups. Wow. And they neglected you, Empress Reverse. They made you feel insecure. When they were the ones, they were projecting their insecurities, their insecurities onto you. And you gave, and you gave, and you gave. So they want to confess to, to you that they didn't deserve it. They didn't always deserve it, but they want to come in and make things right. So you're going to have to use your discernment. Three of swords reverse. This is about healing the connection. This person wants forgiveness. I'm hearing the worst is over. The worst is over. So before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some Lover's Oracle cards for the collective. Let this person prove to you that, that they've changed. It's going to take, with that Knight of Pentacles, it's going to take a lot of hard work, a lot of patience. But there's a wish fulfillment in that. But don't, with this person coming right back, no. They still, they're not going to come back with their fixed they're coming back with all that energy of they love you and they want to make things right, but there's still someone who, who doesn't take full accountability. So let them confess to you what they need to and allow them the space to try. They need to change. They need to change their ways. Okay. They have to prove to you that it will be different this time. And that's going to take time. Are you willing to commit to that? That is your choice. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. So whatever it is that you're trying, like you're trying to detach from this person, <laughs> too hard you're shutting this person out you're like i need to get to the bottom of this no y'all need to come together and have a discussion avoiding this is is not going to make anything better if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind find out for the heart is the gateway to the soul this is a little contradictive because i did say that you your thoughts have to dominate your feelings when this person comes in 
but at the same time remind yourself that you do love this person so you know do i love this person enough to try to give them another chance is the question that is a question collective deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right you kind of know the answer collective or you wouldn't be at this reading if you really didn't give a shit and you just wanted to let this person go you wouldn't be here trying to figure out what you should do okay when it comes to matters of the heart there is no right or wrong every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love yeah love is not logical it is emotional there is no right or wrong give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires yeah so it's like you got to get through this pain to get to the pleasure all right yes it's going to require patience it's hard work a hard conversation you and your person need to have that hard conversation and they need to prove to you that they're going to be different once and for all okay and then there will be an opportunity for this wish fulfillment that's when the universe steps in as a gift. This is a gift to you as long as this person does what they said they're going to do. All right? So those are the messages that I have for you, Collective. If this reading resonates, be sure to tap that like button. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading, click the link in the description box below. I wish you healing, love, and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.